I've been lucky enough to see some really cool things in nature, but every now and then you see something that just absolutely blows your mind. And what you're about to see is something that, as far as I know, has never been filmed in nature. Let's go check it out. Now, if you look right this way, there's an adult female alligator. And actually, it looks like she's maybe headed this way. And if you look to my left, there's a den. But what's really, really cool is right here. And this is something that I've never seen before in my life. This is an, a leucistic baby alligator. It's just basking right here. There's a couple others around. Tell you what, let's, I'm gonna real carefully scoop this guy up. Watch it, Rob. And she's vocalizing a little bit. And this is one of those things that you don't wanna try because if you get too close to a baby alligator, there's a chance that the mother may be very protective. But this is an animal that, you notice there's a little bit of a pigment here. This is not a melanism, lack of dark pigment. This is, I think, leucistic, which would mean it lacks most pigment. And this is an animal that has some duckweed and stuff on the back of it. But as an adult, this thing I think will be ivory, completely ivory colored, almost white. And it'll grow to regular alligator size, which could be, if it's a female, eight feet long or so. If it's a male, it could be over 10 feet. Um, really, really rare and something that you just don't see very often unless you see one in a zoo or something like that. Now, baby alligators rely on mom for protection like we talked about. I have to be, I don't know if you can hear that, that vocalizing. The other thing to notice is this animal has blue eyes. So uh, if it was amelanistic, it would have red eyes because that's just lacking the black pigment. I think I see another one. Let's go check it out. one right here on this log, and I'm watching mom. Right here. And this one has duck, this one has some duckweed on it too. I'm gonna pick this little guy up, but I'm gonna really keep an eye on mom. And it's starting to vocalize. <laughs> I keep glancing over my shoulder at mom. Obviously, you know, she's seven feet long or so and very protective. And here's another one that I didn't even see. It was right in front of me and I didn't even realize it. These things actually are more cryptic on these light colored leaves than I would have guessed. But, oh man, you know, they look a little bit thin, but they've just, you hear mom hissing over there. <laughs> they just came out of the den. It's early in the year, so, you know, they probably haven't started feeding yet. The water temperature is too cool. Wow, just amazing little animals. Again, this is something that you just are never gonna see. One in several million probably chance of one of these things hatching out. Boy, low country of South Carolina is amazing. And every now and then you get to see something really, really special like this. Now, since this is such an incredibly rare event in nature, this South Carolina alligator research team is gonna capture the mother and pull blood from her. So what they can do is pull blood and they can get a sample that'll give them genetic information, information on metals, and all sorts of just incredible stuff. Now we think this is likely a simple recessive gene thing. So in other words, it's a mother and a father alligator that both carry a recessive gene. And then when they breed together, that is expressed. So maybe a quarter of the offspring would be leucistic and the rest of them would look normal. Then the mom will be released unharmed. The babies are gonna be taken away. This is a high profile area and there's concern that somebody might collect them and take them away. And more than likely, even if they were to remain here and nobody found them, a great blue heron, raccoon, or some other predator would definitely get these. So I think the best bet is to remove them from here. So after they caught the mother, they were able to catch a couple normal looking hatchlings. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to compare the two. So here's a normal, this is normal coloration, wonderful cryptic pattern here. And then we'll put it in with these others and you see there's a big difference. Now remember these are gonna develop a much lighter kind of an ivory color as they grow, with just little bits of pigment left. Low country, South Carolina, you never know what you're going to see, but I'll tell you what, this is one in a million. <laughs>